When it comes to the onboard LED, the Pico W is a very different board, at least if you're going to use it directly in C and C++ with the Pico SDK. This video is going to be a beginner's guide to flashing the Pico W's onboard LED. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of Raspberry Pi Pico, IoT, robotics, and some other fun tech. This video continues my set of beginner's guide videos where I try to show that C and C++ on the Pico is not as scary as some people think. It brings a lot of control and power to your projects. In this video, I want to cover how to flash the LED on the Pico W. I've previously talked about how to do this on the Pico, but the Pico W, at least in this respect, is quite different. Let me explain. Please do like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let's dive onto the concept table and have a look at this. When we looked at the Pico and flashing the LED on the Pico, we found that the LED was directly connected to the RP2040 processor. Yes, there's a, a resistor in there as well, but the LED is directly on one of those GPIO ports. It's not a GPIO port that is exposed on the outside of the Pico, but it is one that's coming straight off that processor. On the Pico W, things are a bit different, and they had to use that GPIO line to control the Wi-Fi controller, what we call the CYW43. And therefore, the LED on board is actually now connected into that Wi-Fi controller, which seems a bit strange, but that's how it's architected. So it is a GPIO line coming off of the CYW43 Wi-Fi controller. That means that in order for us to flash that LED, we have to send a message from our RP2030 over to the CYW43 to ask it to flash that LED by raising and lowering that GPIO line. All the code is included in GitHub, and I'll put a link in the video description so you can easily find it. You can clone the repository on Mac, Linux, or Windows. It's very easy, you can just use this command line. Again, the description for that is actually in the repo projects for how to do that. Today's example is for the Pico W and to flash the LED. And so I've put that in the folder 2-PicoW flash. And you can build a project um, using the Pico SDK just by going through these steps, which are slightly different if you're on Mac or on Windows. That gets you the binary, which will be in a build folder, in generally under a folder called source, and there's two versions of the binary. You either get a UF2 file, which you can copy over using boot select, or there is a .l file that you can flash over using OpenOCD via something like the Raspberry Pi debug probe. There are quite a lot of options in the setup of your toolchain to build for the Pico, be it that whether you're using Windows or Mac or Linux or Raspberry Pi, how you're choosing to actually flash the Pico, etc. So much too long for me to go into in a YouTube video. But I do have a course on the Udemy platform that goes into all of that in some detail. Um, take a look at that if you, it's something that you need. So in the repo that I've cloned here, we've got the two Pico W flash, and um, I'm gonna go in there and I'm going into the source folder and I'm just gonna have a look at this make file here. Because I want to point out that because we are having to use this other chip, the CYW43, in order to flash that LED, we've actually got to link an additional library. Well, everything you do on the Pico, you can always link the standard library. But if we're playing with a Pico W and we're not doing any of the IP clever stuff with it, when we want to flash that LED, we've got to link this CYW43 Arch None library. And it's that that will give us access to be able to include uh, the CYW43 Arch and allow us to uh, initialize that chip, which is the first thing we have to do as part of our main program. And then we have to uh, use that chip and its special GPIO put command in order to light the LED by uh, giving it the value one. 
uh, do a little bit of sleep for half a second and then turn that LED off and then keep repeating doing that. And that's what will give us a flash pattern. So it's very similar to what we would do on a Pico, but we're using these additional libraries in order to call over to the other chip, the CYW43, this Wi-Fi controller, to get it to actually control the LED. It'll allow us to actually flash that LED on our Pico W, as we can see in the video here. In addition to this Pico CYW43 Arch None library that we've linked today, there are actually another three uh, versions of this library which have different capabilities that they provide for how to use the Wi-Fi chip and the IP stack, which is a library called LWIP. Um, so there is a poll library that allows you to very much take control and poll and only give that library control when you want to. There is a thread safe library that does some of the stuff via interrupts in the background. And there's one using a real time operating system called FreeRTOS. Now I will give you a health warning when working with this onboard LED. If you're using anything other than the first two, don't use it. Let me explain why and let me show you why. If you look at the Pico SDK code around working with GPIO lines over the CYW43, you'll see that actually there's no thread safeness in this code. It could be that I'm missing something and there is really, but I can't find it. And certainly in tests and my experience, actually trying to use that onboard LED can actually interrupt your network connections. So my suggestion is don't use it. Use an external LED instead. And I'll explain how to do that in a future uh, video. So now you know how to flash the onboard LED on the Pico W, though my advice is not to use it, but to use an external LED when you need one. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that. If you want to jump ahead and also work through some other exciting projects, then why not take a look at my micro projects course on the Pico over on the Udemy platform. I'll put a discount voucher in there just for you, um, but it is for a limited time only. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video as it helps encourage me to make some more videos. And please subscribe and hit that notification button to avoid missing the next video. Goodbye for now.